a big window went pop and there was this glass everywhere. That was the loudest bang I had ever heard. It sounded like an explosion. I thought perhaps the end of days was upon us, but it turned out it was just a disoriented old lady in a champagne-colored Toyota Avalon crashing into my world like DMB circa 1996. Who's got their claws in you, my friend? Into your heart, I'll beat again. Just before 2 p.m., an elderly woman drove into the side of the restaurant while trying to park her car. I turned around, and a little old lady had uh, stepped on the gas instead of the brake and ran into the restaurant. She hit three people who were sitting down and eating inside. They were thrown eight to ten feet. I saw their bodies tossed skyward like ragdolls thrown into the air by the late great Andre the Giant. I don't know. They appeared to be weightless, hitting zero G like the fearless crew of a forgotten Apollo mission, whose only objective was to obtain a beef and cheddar classic and return home to Kathleen Quinlan safe before sundown. I don't know. Part of me wishes I'd been hit by that car instead, so I could have gotten out of work early and gone far, far away from shift manager Masha's judging emerald eyes. No, I didn't wash my shirt in between shifts, Masha. So what if I smell like roast beef? This whole place smells like roast beef. The fire department transported all three to the hospital and tell us that the man and two women who are in their 30s and 40s appear to have non-life-threatening injuries. As for the woman driving the car... A look of elderly bloodlust spread across her wrinkled face, and it made me dare to think perhaps this was no accident. Perchance she was compelled, compelled to steer her beige battering ram into the house that Beef built, driven not by force of this earth, but of an earth below. An earth that mirrors ours in almost every way, except the reflections are so much darker that many miles down. Some know the reflected Realm to be the netherworld. Others know it as the abyss. I know it as the shadow zone. A world where the blackness of our sin stares back at us and merely laughs. Ha 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 ha. A world where God's law governs no man. A world where there is no literal or figurative Mr. Belvedere given any authority to teach us right from wrong. A world where we are loosed and given leathery wings charred like brisket to soar high above the judgment of the well-pressed, dry-clean, shift-managing elite. A world where I am elevated to my true pagan animal form and I take flight. No and only is the winged demon dead dreadmore and i fly high above the puritanical regime anointed by the oil of our beast lord singing i'm the king of the castle and you're the dirty rascal crash into me crash into me i don't know arby's is pretty cool <laughs> <laughs>